All right, Dax, where are we going? Sullivan's. Sullivan's? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. Elk City. Elk City. I just want to do this mess with you because I know we usually go to Sullivan's. We do go to Sullivan's a lot. We haven't been to Elk City for a minute. Yeah. This is pretty cool. This I is cool. was here last Saturday, I think, was when I got those two Rush records. The, um, that's right, that's when you did the video, right? Wild Cherry. Yes, that's why. That's what and I mean. yeah. uh, that Poco Legends album. Because I knew it was a couple of races that's where Wild Cherry came from. Right. Are we good? I'm guessing we're good. Virginia, we, don't care. <laughs> we don't care about the law. People only remember you'll never find. You'll never find as long as you live. Oh, why do I already have this? I just need the debut, Lionel. I know. He's just so handsome. What a handsome devil. He just looks happy. Too. This is a great record. I mean, like I said, He's I've already, great I've already got um, "Can't Slow Down." I actually think I have multiple copies of "Can't Slow Down." Otis Rush. Oops, I didn't go there. I went there. Oh, oh Destruct. Isn't that, um... Oh, God. Uh, a little bit louder now! A little bit louder. Didn't he, didn't he do that for one of the... Uh, shout? Yeah, Shout. That's a... Uh, was it Otis Rush? It's an Otis Rush. I mean, I think it's Otis or somebody else. I know it was in one of the... Uh, Rufus. I think it was in one of the uh, Revenge of the Other movies or something like that. I can't remember. I just remember that was my first exposure to it, and I love that song ever since. Rufus featuring Chalky Khan. This had some great stuff. Shalimar. Shalimar only, I only remember the one song, uh, Night to Remember. I don't know anything off of this record. I only know that, uh, is that just some random gorilla? First minute of a new day. I just like the cover. That's pretty sweet cover. Never heard of them. Ever heard of this? Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. Band, just in time. That's not a good point to sell. People that do records and stuff, like, that's so hard to read. Is it a bluegrass band? I don't know. It's in folk, so probably. I, I think there's a... Folk section for my likes. I think Phil actually has a bluegrass section, which... Yeah. Yeah, right here. It's on the other side. I'm going to stay away from that. I know you don't like the chicken chokers. We probably we probably want to get out of just the this section. No, I'm loving the names of these records, man. Hold on, let's look for something I'm really upset that there's not any Duran Duran though. Hooters. This is awesome. People talk about music being so dirty these days. Whatever. Here is a bunch of Beatles. Too bad neither one of us really liked the Beatles. Yeah, that's right, we said it. We, we said, said it. it. There is some Bee Gees though. Like, I, I can get behind Bee Gees. Like original when they were still a five piece. There's something that a lot of people might not know. Uh, before the Bee Gees, well, prime example. Before the Bee Gees started doing all of your favorite disco hits, they were actually a five piece band. So that's a pretty, that's pretty cool. Gorilla Biscuits. Dude, we have found so much fun color. Like, we really have. I can't wait for you guys to see what other, like, gems we found. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some great stuff. There's uh, Berlin, otherwise known as Take My Breath Away. Huh? Oh, Grand Funk Railroad? Grand Funk Railroad, yeah. That's cool. Now, here's a question. Mm -hmm. Grand Funk at one point. Because this says Grand Funk 
I actually think they were Grand Funk and then it turned into Grand Funk Railroad. And then you have Grand Funk Railroad. Yeah. Also, a uh, bass player from West Virginia. Really? Did mm -hmm. I know that? He just got inducted into uh, the Grand West Funk Virginia. Funk. Yeah, and uh, some kind of wonderful. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. There's some uh, Blackfoot. Blind Faith. That's pretty cool. Some Blondie. I do love Blondie. Uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. That's pretty cool. And it's well categorized too, uh, which, like, for a lot of people that probably get into vinyl, uh, a lot of people that get into vinyl in general probably fall into the same trap of wherever you go ends up being people just kind of being like, "Oh, this is really cool, but I'm not going to buy it, so I'm going to stick it over here and go back to what I was doing," and that shit's super annoying. Um, if you are that person, you suck. And yeah. And then if you if, if you pull it out again, just put it back. And then you just keep doing that. If you do it enough times, you get a new record. <laughs> uh, Big Mama Cass. Here's a record just called Cat by the band Cat. I do like a cup. Just Cat. That's pretty great. Cheap sex. Mm -hmm. I think we ran across these earlier because they're definitely worth pointing out for the vlog. Have heart. I mean, dude, I'm telling you, like, it's just. Ooh. So much, so much punk rock, so much hardcore. Mm -hmm. And a lot for, for my perspective, a lot of it being uh, a lot of straight edge stuff, which I'm pretty sure probably was bought in one lot. Chili whack. It's pretty cool. Um, I've bought quite a few of my straight edge records from here. Chain of Strength, uh, the last oh, H2O record so that I got. true. How men are. All they think is fishing. Fishing. It's so you. In other words, that's how juice In is. of juice. It's just a big fish tank. It's just fishing. With hooks floating around. <laughs> Don Henley. It's just fishing. Which Don Henley? I can't stand still. Um, I don't remember. I want to say that was not his first solo post Eagles. That might be second. I I know more about Glenn Fry's solo than I do about Don's. Did you see this heartbreak? Um, Bye. yes. Speaking of, go back to that first heart record that was before that. So, that record that one right there started my entire vinyl collection my grandma bought it for me at a goodwill because uh, i was a kid that thought that i really liked vinyl and i didn't have a record player and i loved heart that record's terrible i just want to go on record as saying that record is absolutely awful i'm i'm glad it i'm glad it started my collection but I literally, that record is so, so bad. My grandfather got me the uh, uh, Real American cassette tape. Oh, really? Uh, from uh, Hulk Hogan. I was about to say, like, the Hogan? Yeah, like, it was, like, legit him playing the guitar on the cover and stuff. Like, it got me forever. I was so, like, I laughed so hard when he gave it to me. Like, I, I literally ran to my, my house and played it. Just, I am a... still think that should be our anthem to this day. For I'm a Real American? Yeah. Like instead of the national anthem, or like instead of like I mean, I'm a real American came on, like dude, man. Think of how much better. Speak of the devils. That's what I'm saying. There they are again. This is just like hardcore heaven today. H2O, H2O is so great, and I feel like they get clustered in strictly because of the um, straight edge moniker. But they're such a great punk and hardcore band. More more so punk. If anybody, if you can appreciate punk music and you can kind of look past just the message you're trying to say, like mm -hmm. you can get into any right. hardcore or any straight edge band. They're good. I mean, I don't claim straight edge like my friend Josh does here. That's true. I still listen to straight edge bands. They're good. There's Phil as we speak. Fine Young Cannibals, otherwise known as She Drives Me Crazy. 
Wrong, she drives me crazy, but I appreciate it. That's the one. There he is. There's a uh, there's bare trees, not one of Fleetwood Mac's better records, but integrity again. I'm telling you, I do think that this was bought probably off of one dude. This is more integrity albums. That's true. These are in great shape. They're in really good shape. Like really, really good shape. Five integrity albums. Six integrity albums. He's still Six, going. Dude. Tell me, there's a seven. No, that's impressive. Though. That you is, never, you never yeah. Where, where have you ever gone and seen an integrity anything? That, dude, Cassette, the closest thing we CD. Found was Sullivan's AFI. That was the yeah. closest thing I found. Now I've gotten. That's what I was telling Dags off camera. Um, here's Peter Frampton's. I believe it's his second album. I'm in you. I wonder what that's about. Um, Becoming somebody. It's <laughs> Speaking of Glenn Fry, I think I got off topic. What was I talking about? <laughs> this was um that's badass you have this one no i don't have I... what? look at that price oh i'm sorry i, I can't do it right now I wasn't paying attention. here is um i i don't want to say for sure this is glenn's first solo do you have this rush album mahogany rush <laughs> i don't but i've been asked a lot <laughs> I have been asked a lot. People will see like Mahogany Rush, but the Rush is in such a large font. They're like, you got this one here. They're like, the wrong band. I appreciate you thinking of me, but. <laughs> no. I do like the cover, but I don't really dig Mahogany Rush. They look cool. This is for dope. That's a sweet cover. Who's that? Mallow, 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 Mallow. I don't know. Mallow Cups? That's like awesome. <laughs> Oh, I swear by those. She prefer, I think she prefers Mallow Cups to Really? She, she likes the I would say the bulk of this band probably actually has pacemakers now. I'm glad Dags laughed at that. I'm sure anybody watches this is going to be like, boo! So, when you were to be comedians. No. Yeah, we're back to Gorilla Biscuits. So we're caught up to where Dags has already looked. Whoa! Ah. Sorry, Dags. Take, it's a King Crimson. <laughs> That's why I got too Holy excited. Crap. I was like, Dags went right past this. I don't know how I did. Ooh. This was a good record. Actually still has a lot of the original cellophane on it. Get on the form of flesh and blood. Kind of a powerful, powerful album cover. True that. Is that okay, macrame? The top is it macrame that she's wearing? No, I didn't. It's just talking the wrong guy. <laughs> this is a cool King Crimson record. That's a possibility. I just see this title and I want to know more. You want to go party? Of and course, it's Casey and the Sunshine Band. I love it. I do want to go party. I, I feel like I have to pull up their music a lot at work. Anytime we have an event, somebody's always like, let's put on some Casey and Sunshine Band. Because they're great. Well, they are great. I'm not saying they're not, but that's that's like the this is, I think this is sealed too. It is. Six dollars, man. But that tells you though, if it's still sealed, and KC at the time was like huge, you know, like every hit, that 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 every song that he put out was a hit. So if this thing is still sealed, it probably wasn't a good record. Truth be told, what's on it? I've got the feeling, Hooked on Your Love, oh, I like it. Please, no, please don't go. Ended up being a, a hit of his. I bet you didn't know that. Que pasa. Que pasa. Que pasa. Do you want to go party? And do you want to go party? Actually, you know what? The yeah, only one, the please don't go, is definitely a hit. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe the person bought it and then died. One of those Here's another one. one. Maybe they listened to it on like Spotify and just wanted the record. Sure. Here's another sealed one, though. Like, from... That's probably a better one. Come to my eye. It's same old song. Yeah, you yeah, no, not. there is not <laughs> any. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> there was not a single hit. On that one. Um, I completely forgot what I was telling you about Glenn Fry in the first place. I really need to quit getting distracted. And there he goes, because I'm talking about the Eagles, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, you going to do the Eagles? No. Okay. I don't have it. 
Oh man, but Dax, come back. There's hauling oats. I know that's how I can get him back. Now, I don't know how I can like them and not the Eagles, but it, easy. it happened. No, easy, because it's that stash. Well, you know how I was telling you about like in the group, like in the, those groups I'm in, like when they do like, guess what music I listen to? Like, depending if it's, it's a metal group, so obviously like that. Right. Music, um, all the people that hate me talking about this, awesome. But uh, that's one of the bands I'm always like, what do I listen to my call notes? <laughs> Like, just, I mean, I'm just like, I'm just like, let's not, like, I guarantee, like, every band they post these death orders, it's like, you've heard them. Like, just go on Spotify. Yeah, what are you expecting? Are you expecting somebody to pop in and be like, oh, here's a surprise? We're coming back to this, even though we've already seen it, but I just got to plug this record. Uh, the Power Station's 33 and a third record. If you don't know anything about the Power Station, they're, they were a great band, um, and for rightful reasons. I mean, you had Robert Palmer, uh, which obviously everybody knows Robert Palmer. And you had Tony Thompson, played a lot of stuff with Sheik and played a lot of stuff with Diana Ross. But then you had John and Andy Taylor from Duran Duran, and it was produced by Bernard Edwards, the bassist from Sheep. And if I'm not mistaken, it also had, um, I think it had Rupert Hine on keyboards. Yes, it did. So it had Rupert Hine on keyboards. Um, I don't recall if um, Nile Rogers had anything to do with this. I don't think he did. I think this was just Bernard. Because he got produced by Bernard Edwards. But dude, this record, everything on it, between Some Like It Hot, uh, Get It On, thank you. Look at him. He's just such, he's such a happy boy. Sorry, I, just, I, I figured you love it. I do love it. Um, but no, the uh, everything on there, uh, Get It On, Thank You Gong, the cover of the T-Rex song, was fantastic. Um, you also had... Um, Oh my god, I'm drawing a complete blank. There's can't is that it? That's it. Damn. We are not we are like I'm striking out. Yeah, we're like 0 for 4 on that one day. So we went on a fig hunt that we didn't film for reasons. rightful reasons. Because it was terrible. Yeah, er, we we might have to hold off another fig hunt video for a month or so just so we can get some stock in. I mean we'll we'll just add in no fans. Yeah, we'll add in what we did from today. It's gonna be a total video of like what we did today. But right now we're in vinyl for Elk City. Um, Definitely expect more stuff like this. If we can't do fake hunts, we're going to do you know, record hunts. Oh, for sure. If we can't do record hunts, we'll, we'll find something too. Because we mm -hmm. collect a, just a bunch of different crap. So yeah. We'll find something to talk about. We've got collector e nature to us. But this is the one, is it not? Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the best. Ooh, this is an artsy shot. I might... No, Dex, get, get a, a walkthrough. I didn't want your kicks. Yeah.